All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody, and just plain welcome if you are new. But new to all of you should be this. This is my 2017 Ford F-150, and I will be doing a full review on this truck and getting a little bit more in depth with it, but today I just kind of want to show it off and give a little bit of an overview and also point out all the different things that are actually wrong with the truck and what I plan to do to fix those. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is it. This is a 2017 Ford F-150 in a Lariat trim with an ingot silver paint job. It is a Super Crew 4x4. It has a two inch leveling kit already on the front with 20 inch wheels. Under the hood, there is a 3.5 liter EcoBoost mated to a 10 speed automatic. And a couple of other little features with the truck. It does have the dual panel moonroof um, and a soft tonneau cover as well as this deck system here. Now, this is kind of one of those things where it's cool that it's here. I don't know that I would have bought it on my own, um, but it's pretty neat. So it has two drawers that are the full length of the bed. And then obviously you still have a little bit of your bed height. So like I said, I don't know that I would have bought it for myself. It is cool that it's here. I, I don't know for sure if I'm going to keep it, um, but I have used it a few times. So I don't know. I'm going back and forth on that. As far as the inside goes, it is a big, big step up from my 2002 F-150. And I have more to share on that here in a bit, um, but black leather inside and leather wrapped steering wheel, leather on the dash, leather on the armrest. So everything's just decked out as much as it can be. Um, the eight inch infotainment screen. Again, like I said, it's got the dual panel moonroof. I have the shade drawn right now. And in the back, there is plenty of room for activities. So these seats fold up to give way to a lot of room for lay flat storage. Of course, they will pop right back down and then you can fit a full grown person back here pretty easily. These are heated in the rear, heated and cooled in the front. And the truck itself has at this point 47,000 miles. I bought it with 46 and I've had it for about three weeks. So 46,000 miles on a five-year-old vehicle is really not that bad at all, in my opinion. Um, and according to the Carfax, there were two previous owners First owner had it for about four years. Second owner had it for about one. And for first owner did about 25-ish thousand miles. Second owner did about 21,000. Um, again, four years versus one year. So much different uses and drive time between those two individuals. Um, but like I said, all in all, that equates to 46,000 miles from when I picked it up. And it's in really, really good shape. However, over 46,000 miles, it is a truck. There are some things that are going to happen. And so I'm gonna highlight those and let you know how I'm gonna fix those to get this back to looking as brand new as possible. So starting right back here in the rear, something obviously happened here and kind of dented this in as well. And I took care of this a little bit already. And so it looked like it was mostly some paint transfer and I used a microfiber towel, PB blaster, and a plastic razor blade and got all of it off, but I still need to come back and buff this area out. I probably won't really mess with the black plastic trim. Um, not really sure how I could fix this without it possibly looking worse. And the good thing is, is this piece, I can just buy a new one and put it on it and you would never know the difference. As far as the tail light goes, I'm going to try to sand this a little bit with a really fine grit and then just polish it out. I think that that will end up taking care of that portion. And so whatever <laughs> went on back here uh, should be able to more or less erase that from history and no one would be the wiser. Coming around to the other side, I'm not really sure what happened and I don't know how well I can get this on camera for you guys because um, it's super hard to see even with out the camera but following my finger here 
looks like there was a long scratch that was touched up with a paint pen or something, but I cannot feel any texture difference. I can just see that it catches the light slightly differently. Um, and like I said, it looks like it was a paint pen, but then over here is a little weird because this is not actually dirt. This is overspray of some sort. And it looks remarkably similar to the color of the truck itself. So it is possible that somebody was painting something somewhere else and it just kind of collected on here. Um, but it makes me wonder if this was some kind of damage that got resprayed or something and things just weren't masked off properly. But my goal for taking care of this is just to clay bar this whole area. I'll clay, I'm gonna clay bar the whole truck anyway because I plan on doing a ceramic coat. Um, so that will be a future video. Um, but the clay bar should take this off no problem. There's also a little bit on this decal here and you can't really see it, but I can definitely feel it whenever I touch it. So that will take care of that. And hopefully by the time I do all that, this is less noticeable, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Next, the dr passenger side doesn't look that bad, but this is the driver's side running board. And as you can see, the clear finish that is on here is peeling off and bubbling in a few different places. So what I plan to do here is remove the plastic and the treads if I can. Um, these may not come off or it may be more trouble than it's worth with broken tabs and things like that. If that's the case, so they'll mask it. But essentially, make sure that any loose or peeling clear coat is removed um, through sanding and then once everything's masked off just shoot it with a automotive clear coat and see if that doesn't hold up better for me to finish everything off we have these two tow hooks they are red i don't know what is on this one it's some kind of rubber coating of some sort and then here is red tape just red tape so what I plan to do here is get these back down to, you know, whatever metal there is underneath it. That should be easy for the tape. Just remove that. This, I'm not quite sure what it is, so I don't really know my plan of approach yet. But I will get that off, and I will repaint these in a red. And it'll be the same red that I used when I painted the brake calipers on the Mustang. If you remember, I had that color match to the uh, bow calipers up here on the front and I still have some of that. So I'm going to use this color red, use an automotive clear over the top and that should hold up pretty well. All right so that's just a little bit of an overview for this truck. Like I said I will have a full review video coming out for it so subscribe so you don't miss that. And anyone who has been a part of the channel for any length of time should know that I do also have a black O2 F-150 that I was making content with. I was doing a lightning tribute build with that. I do still have that truck, um, but I was having some misfire issues, some knocking issues, things like that, and um, changed out a few things, spark plugs, cleaned up carbon deposits, but still had issues. And I stuck a borescope into all the cylinders and found out that on my number two cylinder, I have a cracked piston so that truck is going to be down for a little while um, that engine needs to be either rebuilt or replaced I am opting for replaced and use this as the excuse and the opportunity to just do full-blown lightning clone with it the 5.4 v8 supercharged all of it so I don't know if I'll be able to find or at least not for you know a decent price a factory lightning long block um, I should be able to pretty easily get my hands on a naturally aspirated 5.4 that I can then put a supercharger on um, they're more or less the same the biggest difference is just going to be that the naturally aspirated version has a slightly higher compression ratio um, all that really means is you know you it kind of limits you in the amount of boost you can run um, but you get more bang for your buck out of the boost you do have, so it's kind of a trade-off. Um, I'm not really too concerned with that. That's probably going to be the easiest option for me, but we shall see. So that is coming, uh, but that will take some time. Time to source parts, time to put everything in. So in the meantime, it is in storage. I will be making content with this truck. 
I'll be making content with the Mustang still. And I am trying to work on some really, really big projects that would be huge for the channel. Uh, I'm trying to finalize those. Uh, don't want to say too much at the moment, but if and when that does happen, it will be huge. And you guys definitely will not want to miss it. So, um, yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you are interested in taking part in any of those things. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.